Alright guys, today might get a little controversial because I'm going to be ranking every Blade Ball ability from the worst ability in the game all the way to the best ability in the game. So if you're a little Timmy watching this, do not get mad if I put your favorite ability in the butt booty garbage category. And yes, I do have a butt booty garbage category right here. But anyways, we're going to go from the dash ability all the way down to the serpent shadow clone. So obviously the first ability we're going to do is the dash ability. Okay. Um, the dash ability is basically where you just dash around. That is it. Is it butt booty garbage? Probably not. Is it eh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this in the A category, all right? It's just like, it's not good. It's not butt booty garbage, but it's just like eh in the middle, you know? All right, the next ability we have is the blink ability. And this one allows you to teleport three times before a cooldown. Okay, so I've actually used this ability a couple of times. And honestly, I don't really like this ability at all. I mean, you can teleport, which is cool, but like, ooh, you teleported five feet. Yay! No, all right, it's not that good. I'm sorry. This is gonna be our first ability in the butt booty garbage category. So yeah, I'm sorry, blink. You're garbage. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is calming deflection. And oh my gosh, guys, I love this ability so much. If you don't know what this ability does, it basically does this. When you hit the ball, right? It does like a big animation, so it looks like you hit the ball fast. But no. It goes fast and it slows down. And now your opponent doesn't know what to do. He already clicked. It's too late. And, and he's, he's dead. dead. But yeah, this is actually the newest ability that just came out. And this is my favorite ability. And I'm gonna say it. I think this is the best ability in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put this all the way to the top in the best ability category. Okay, so as you can see, next up is the Death Slash. And right here it says the Death Slash, the power of a thousand suns at your fingertips. It sounds awesome, right? But it's all right. Because honestly, it's basically infinity, but you can't move around and you have to like time it to once it hits the green. You know, what? it's actually kind of hard to explain. So let me personally show you how it works. Okay, the ball is coming towards me, right? I use the ability, right? And then boom. And then look, I hit him. That's that's basically it. It's a pretty good ability. It can catch your opponent off guard. But is it the best ability? No. But it is a good ability. So I'm gonna have to put this in the good ability category. Next up, we got the force ability. Okay, I actually don't have this ability. But it says right here, it releases three consecutive shock waves, which launch nearby players away. So my friends have this ability, and I've seen other people use this ability. And this ability is actually really good. But where do we put it on the ranking? I'm gonna have to say this is a pretty good ability, okay? Because I'm gonna be honest, people have beat me using this ability and the ability looks sick. Alright, now we have the freeze ability. And if you don't know what this ability does, it basically tells you, okay, it freezes the ball. And then after it freezes the ball, it literally shoots at you super fast. So this ability is a really good ability. Is it the best ability ever? No. Mm. Is it a good ability? Yes. Is it better than force? Honestly, I'm gonna have to say it's better than force. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in front of force. Well, 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 the next ability we have is the infinity ability. Oh my gosh, this ability is so amazing. It's so beautiful. Okay, I love this ability so much. And if you don't know what this ability does, I'll personally show you, okay? So this ability is basically cheating because look, if I use it, boom, the ball doesn't hit me. I can bring the ball towards him. Look at that. And then hit it. And then... And then he dies. Like, that's it. And guys, if he hits it back, the ball freezes again. It still doesn't hit me. So yeah, you already know why I'm putting this ability, okay? I'm putting this all the way to the top. But the question is, is it better than calming deflect? Ooh, I'm gonna have to say yes. Infinity is just unbeatable. All right, now we got the invisibility ability. Um, I might get some hate for this, all right? Because some people might actually like this ability, but this deserves to go um, in the butt booty garbage. I'm sorry. All right, this ability is just not good. Oh, so now we got the fan some ability oh my god guys this ability when it came out you had to spend so much robux to get it right i spent over ten thousand robux trying to get this ability and you know what i realized this ability sucks it's not good okay um is it butt booty garbage no i'm gonna have to put it in the ant eh category and i'm gonna be honest all right i might get hate for this as well but i would rather use dash than phantom all right i said it the next one we're gonna be ranking is phase bypass which is you can phase out of reality and move at god speed for a few seconds it sounds like you're hacking but let me show you how it works okay so look the ball is coming after me right i can use my ability and look i'm moving at god speed like look at this look at this <laughs> and i can hit the ball and he oh he hit it back okay what's up buddy oh yeah and he died <laughs> so i think this is gonna be the first ability in the all right ability yeah it's just all right i me personally i wouldn't really use it platform ability yeah let's just put this over here yeah i'm sorry <laughs> oh this is a good one okay the next one we got is the pull ability bro this ability is probably one of the best abilities to use in 1v1s but i don't like it all right this ability kind of sucks so i have to put it in the butt booty garbage psych 
bro, no way you actually thought I was gonna do that. Okay, there's no way. This is probably one of the best abilities in the game. I'm gonna have to put this up here in the best ability. Is it better than these two? Mm. No, but it definitely deserves to be up here. Let me know if you guys agree with me in the comments down below. But anyways, the next ability we have is the pulse ability, which you can release a pulse, which disables using abilities for a short time. And if you don't know what that means, that basically means once you use that ability, everybody's abilities gets turned off. So you can't even use them anymore. But is that really good? I mean, it's good maybe if you're doing like doubles or squads and you have one guy use that ability and turns everybody's abilities off. But other than that, eh. It's eh, all right? That's where I would ha have to put it. Next up, we got the quad jump. It's pretty easy to understand. All right, you can jump four times. As you can see, it has the number four right there. But where would I put it? I mean, jumping four times, is that really crazy? Ah, I'm gonna have to put that in the eh category, all right? I would say it's better than dash, though. I'd rather use this than dash. I would say that. Well, 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 the next ability that we have is the quantum arena, okay? This is the newest ability that came out. And you can also get this ability through clans. But if you don't know what it does, it creates a quantum void where everyone's abilities are disabled and you can freeze people if you dash through them now this ability is actually pretty good is it the best ability to me no is it a good ability it's all right i would rather use the freeze ability though i know i know some people might hate me some people be like oh, you suck like you're wrong that's what i think okay now we got raging deflection this ability basically you can hit the ball back faster that's it here let me show you okay as you can see the ball is coming towards me i'm gonna hit it regular that's regular but once i hit it like this boom it goes back a little bit faster and that's it. So I'm pretty sure we can all agree when I would put this in the all rights category. The rapture ability. At one point, this used to be my favorite ability because when you use it when someone least expects it, you win literally every single time. So I'm going to have to put this ability in the good ability and I'm going to have to put it above death slash. I would rather use this than death slash. So guys, so far, what are you thinking? All right, do you guys agree? Do you not agree? Did you unsubscribe? I hope not. All right, if you did, please subscribe back. It's free. And if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe right now. Join the Fulton family. But anyways, the next ability we have is the reaper ability and this ability you can get faster and speed the ball up more on hit every time you kill another player so this ability could be really good when you kill a bunch of people so it's not really good for 1v1s at all so i'm gonna have to put this in the a category because i almost never use this ability at all so yeah it's gonna go back here oh now we got the force field ability bro this ability is actually so good it literally hits the ball for you you don't even have to hit the ball anymore let, let me show you like guys watch this i'm about to turn my force field on my hands are up i am not even hitting the ball look at this i am not touching okay i died but you guys get the point so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to put this in the good ability i would definitely have this ability better than death slash but i would choose rapture over force field actually nah i wouldn't let's drag that right in front okay so now we got the serpent shadow clone to get this ability you literally had to do an entire event and this took me forever to get well i actually didn't even end up getting it i use my friend's account whenever i want to use it and i spent all day trying to get it and i still never got it and you might be thinking like wow it should be really good if it takes forever to get right no it sucks it actually made me so mad so i'm gonna put this in the butt booty garbage i'm sorry it made me that mad okay so now we got the shadow step and this is literally the exact same as phase bypass you literally just run around really fast that's basically it so yeah i'm just gonna drag that right next to phase bypass <laughs> super jump you can jump really high yay just kidding. It's it's not that good. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in the A category. Is it butt booty garbage? Honestly, yeah. It's butt booty garbage. We're going to put that down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. The next one, we have the swap ability, bro. Maybe I just don't know how to use it, but I really don't like this ability. When do you use the swap? When the ball is coming after you, you can swap, I guess. But after that... Then what? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this in the A eh category. So, now we got the telekinesis ability, which can stop the ball in its track and change its target. This ability is actually really good. Okay, so watch. Look, it's coming towards me. Boom, I stop it in its tracks, and now it's gonna go towards him. And that's basically how it works. It's actually pretty good for 1v1s and squads as well, but hold on. Okay, this man wants to clash with me. This man wants to clash with me. You don't want. Okay, maybe I don't want it. I just died. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna have to put this in the all right ability. It, it's all right. I, me personally, I wouldn't really use it that much. Thunder Dash. Yeah, let's just, just put this here. Yeah, but, but booty garbage. <laughs> Next up is the Titan Blade. And this ability is actually definitely one of the best abilities in the game. All right, it's really good. I would use it over pull, okay? Because this ability, you, it spawns a giant golden sword and you can hit the ball even though you're far away. It's actually really good. Now we're down to the last two abilities, okay? We have Wind Cloak which basically you get increased speed and increased boost and increased jump boost is it butt booty garbage no is it eh 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this in the air category. It's all right. It's it's nothing crazy. But now the last ability we have is the waypoint ability. And in this one, you can place a sword marker on the ground and you can reuse the ability to teleport to the sword marker. I've actually never used this ability before, but it sounds sick. And I've seen other people use it, but I feel like Blade Ball is such a fast paced game that you don't really have time to just place a sword down to teleport back there. I don't know. I feel like this is a pretty useless ability. So yeah, we're gonna put that down here. Okay, so guys, that is my final Blade Ball tier list. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Do you guys hate me? I hope not. All right, and if you enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe. And I'm Fulton, and I'm out.